Hello everyone, my name is Marcel and in this video we'll learn how to do the browser migration of the YPath process with the browser migration tool, the tool that YPath created to help us so to do the browser migration of YPath process. So I have here a simple process that uh, uses the Internet Explorer uh, to extract the stock price of YPath. So let's first uh, run uh, this process, so see just uh, the process working on the Internet Explorer. So uh, let's run the process. So we can see here the process, it's already working. And so now we'll extract the share price of YPath. And so we can see it here, the share price and the process finish its execution. So now let's learn how to migrate uh, this process to Google Chrome with uh, the browser migration tool. So first we need to get the tool, uh, we need to download it. So we just need here on the browser to type in platform.ypath.com uh, to access to our account. And now that we are here, let's click here uh, on help on this button. And now let's uh, click here on other products. And we will see here the option migration tool. So it's here the tool that will help us to do the browser migration. So let's click here on this option. And now let's click here on save. So now let's open the file. And so let's take the files and drag to a folder. So let's drag them. And we have here so uh, the tool. So now to use the uh, browser migration tool let's open so let's execute the application and now let's indicate the project folder where it's the process that we want to migrate so let's click here first and now let's indicate the project folder and let's click on ok and now first we need to indicate the source browser so the browser that the process uses right now so in my case it's Internet Explorer and now we have to define the destination browser so the browser that we want uh, to migrate so in this case I will select the option Chrome to the Chrome browser and then we have here some uh, options that you can check or not so now uh, let's just migrate the process so let's click here on start and so it says here conversion completed successfully so now uh, let's click on OK and we can see here now uh, the log of the changes that were applied with the migration. So let's just close. So now let's run our process. So uh, the process should open on Google Chrome uh, because the migration already changes the browser type properties of uh, activities that open the browser to the destination browser that we define and so the activity uh, in this case the process let's see if it's working well so uh, let's click here on run so the process already opened the google chrome browser and as we can see the process is working well so let's see if we got the sharp wise of ypath and so we got uh, the sharp price of YPath and so the process finishes with success. So we did the migration without any issue with the browser migration tool. For more detailed information about this tool, I will share also on the video description uh, this uh, link where we can see also information about the browser migration tool. And we can see here what the tool does, what the tool does not. So one thing for sure it's that we have always to test our process after using this browser migration tool to see if we need to change something on the process or not because this tool cannot ensure like says here 100% success rate so we have always to test so uh, our workforce after use uh, this browser migration tool so I hope you liked this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more YPath related videos. Bye bye.